named Gosto Rey. That's the best pronunciation I can give it. So this is the uh, place I'm staying at. And they have new forest ponies, but I wanted to show you this as unusual. Um, so the building directly in front of us is to store hay. And many years ago, apparently, um, they would have a pulley system on the pole in the centre, be much like an umbrella. And they could lift it up or lower it down, this whole thatch roof, and store the hay underneath. So we're going into the yard now. And uh, it's a lovely old, uh, every gate has a bell on it. I think that's a great idea. Just a, a bell, the gate, the other end of the property has the same thing. So when you open the gate, so the bell will ring, yeah? I know when it's coming. And this is uh, the chap I've come to see. Can you introduce yourself, please? Uh, Martin Schoenmakers from Castel Rey. <laughs> <laughs> and he has uh, new forest ponies. I'll just show you inside this building again. You see how it's made. Quite incredible. And that whole thing would lift up around that central pillar going up there. You can actually see where it's shaped and worn at the top. Exactly like an umbrella, no different. Yep. This is one of his carriages. He has several, you know, working carriages as we call them, exercise vehicles. Yeah? And uh, I'm just going to go here and show you um, a couple of these inside. They've just come in now. So this is our stables here. There's one. New Forest. Not far from where I live, the New Forest is where they, they come from, these horses. Just come across to this one. This is one of the pairs, and the purpose of being here is to make a team out of what horses he has. So we're in the yard now, we're just getting two ready to go out. We're hoping that these, uh, well, Martin and Anna, other people, um, you know, Martin's just grooming, Anna's just tying that one up, and um, they want these to be the leaders. They're slightly less in size, so they want it to be the lead horses. So the idea is that they're going a four in hand, and they go safe, confident, and happy. Um, that one over there is a mare that, um, used to be here someone else owns it now and she's going to come along with us riding which I think is lovely because um, it's another you know discipline so they all behave themselves um, hopefully but we're going to go a fair way we're going to go through a couple of villages and a, and a biggish town um, which will be about um, Martin how far was that this morning about 10 miles, about 10 miles we're going to do he's saying so, okay, we'll get them harnessed up and then when we set off, we'll film again. The wonderful thing about this particular part of the country is this beautiful sandy soil. So if you, if you wanted to make an arena, it wouldn't be any problem. You just take the grass off and basically what you've got is what you see. And they have a tremendous amount of these tracks. We'll be on this track maybe for, or different tracks, going into town. Oh, it could easily be yeah. five kilometers, Martin. On yeah. these tracks, five kilometres, yeah, yeah more. maybe more. So they have all these tracks all over, and it's definitely a country that accommodates the horse. So you will see all over, they have yeah. the, a cycle, you know, bicycles, people can walk, people can ride, and yeah. people can drive on these tracks. And they go on for mile after mile after mile. And there never seem to be much, you know, not very far on the road before you come across one of these and they all sort of interlink in an area from what I can see. So I've come over here to give Martin Ant to put these four horses together. These are the leaders. We've already had the wheelers out. We're going to film them yeah. uh, tomorrow uh, and just show you. So these horses are slightly less in size than the wheelers. But he uses rubber bits like I do, you know, which is lovely to see. 
and he has a, a, a relaxed rein and so we can see here a, a nice relaxed rein the horse's head carriage is nice a gentle contact and the horses behaving themselves impeccably and this rein contact won't change at all even on the public highway which I'll show you so we're gonna break off now I'm just gonna give you an idea as we just pan round with this camera of just how flat this countryside is and we have uh, a rider with us today, Lishbet, but is Elizabeth, and she's an international <laughs> international endurance rider, and this is also a driving pony, but uh, she's taken it over and does endurance riding now on it. Yep, 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 yep. That's why I'm here. Why I'm here is to see that that uh, someone with a rubber bit and a slack rein. It's not only me. Yeah, yeah. There are other people around, and that's one of the reasons I'm here. Really, this man um, believes in it the same as I do, and he has a beautiful soft rubber bit in each horse's mouth with a light contact, yeah, and they're yeah. behaving themselves perfectly adequately very well yeah, um, yeah. you could say behaving their souls lovely yeah and uh, the lady there see a wave and a little boy <laughs> yep, yep, the big yep, truck yep, is here yep, again yep, yep, yep. no trouble at all so you know it just proves the point doesn't it that this man does exactly the same as I do at home off rubber bit, light contact through the middle of town with two new forest ponies. Yeah, yeah. It's quite remarkable that we come all this way to come out and uh, put a four in hand together for him. Well, basically give him hand to do it really. Yeah, yeah, but he yeah, follows yeah. us on YouTube yeah. and loves what we do and then, you know has asked us to come over and give him hand yeah, and yeah. you know have a bit of input into what he's doing which is you know quite a compliment really when they yep, can already yep, achieve yep, yep, what they're doing yep. now you know which is driving them yep, in the yep. middle of a big town in a soft rubber bit with a light contact where's Good the necessity right. for a big heavy Liverpool and all the bits and pieces when you don't need it so See the rain's moving the whole time, you know, the, the, the light contact, so a nice head carriage on them. Ooh. Um. So we're coming up into the main street now, if you like. And this horse right alongside us, yeah. Yeah. doing exactly the same thing as she did before. Young Elizabeth here. Ooh. And here we are, right in the middle of a town, riding one, another new forest, perfectly well behaved. That's a rubber bit in the horse's mouth again. Yeah, so, off we go. Yeah, go on, go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. And She's trotting up alongside us as we go here. I think she's just come behind us now. Now she's going to go in front of us, right in the middle of a town. Riding along now, perfectly well. Absolutely lovely to see. So, yeah, we can share the public highway with everything else in a safe, confident and happy manner. Another group of children out riding their bikes, it's a school day. Yeah, too much. 
So we're dragging sheets of metal again, and these horses are getting used to it. Um, they, uh, Martin quite likes what we do in England. That's why he's invited me over to put this team together um, to help him. Uh, the man is a very competent driver and is a competition driver or a re com retired competition driver now. But um, so he's very interested in what we do in England and how we do it at Hall Strong Promotions. So he's invited me over, as I say, to put the team in. And he's very, very pleased that his horses will tolerate this noise behind them. So we're just getting ready to go out with this four in hand. We've changed one of the horses um, just to help to educate another. So these are the two wheelers. This is the horse we had yesterday at the front. And this is an older horse. Pony, I should say pony, um, but this is an older one, and uh, we're just going to take this one just to give this other one just a little bit more confidence. It was very, very good out the front, but we're just going to try this. And you've got to try and change all the time to try and get perfection. But these are new forest ponies, and uh, to my way of thinking, they surprise me the perhaps quality I'm sorry to say that and upset people I don't mean to do that but if you look on the forest now there's all sorts of things running out and um, or what I saw when I drove through the other day I'm no expert on new forest ponies um, at all but I feel that um, these are beautifully made ponies very very strong thick in the quarters nice deep chest on them and each one of them is very similar in structure so if we then look at this youngster here as much as i can see why he's putting the harness again the big powerful quarters nicely made wide in the chest you see this one which is probably the biggest stand up baby probably the biggest one of all stand up babe. yeah so if you just look at him when i come away the way he's made powerful animals every last one of them Big powerful animals, new forest, um, and there are a lot here. I've learnt that since I've been here. I knew there were some, but never expected so many. But really nice, and this one here is a nice, uh, nice chap. Suffers a little bit with sweet itch, but they're controlling it nicely. He's not itching all the time, and they're great people here. Although. They're older folk, they're great people here for innovation, learning new things, trying to get this better than it is. Yeah, so there's that one. So these were the two wheelers, the first ones, this bay here, that light bay, and then you call them duns, I suppose. These two, just putting this team together now. Um, for the first time. <laughs> And so yeah. these two in the wheel, you've seen them, it's in the other two. Yeah. And we're just doing it here because this easier here just in this part of the yard. The only thing we've added to the harness is a piece of hose pipe onto the Liverpool bits. Although they're rubber that the horses are wearing in the wheel. We put that and yeah. Uh, so that um they don't get the reins caught. So you'll see it on that horse there. There, as you see, as he comes around. So, we just left the yard now. Uh, it's the first time I had a chance to get the camera out of my pocket. It's only about five, six hundred yards, and they're going just sweet. Nice straight line. The brains are coupled together. Yeah. The uh, up in the end, you see that one? Same as we have at home. Um, Will you have to Okay. So going really sweet. I mean they make a lovely team. It needs to be an hand bigger maybe or whatever they are. Only a tiny bit but it just makes it sort of lovely. And bear in mind this is the first time we've 
in this combination. I've done that pair of work. I swapped them about with other older horses, but um, they're pair of work yep. and then straight yep. into a team. So the difference is here to where we are, the amount of travel we can do before we really get any traffic whatsoever. Which, you know, is no bad thing when you're driving on the other side of the road, is it? This goes for mile after mile, driving through these woods on these sand tracks. Yep. Absolutely, well, incredible. I mean, I don't seriously know. I'm going to look at the map and get an estimate of the miles you can travel. But for this team going in for the first time, lovely. So we can cut across and do lots of um, short blocks, turns, lefts and rights, tight fold backs, all yep, within yeah, this yeah. safe environment. And you're not travelling the same piece every time. You're, you know, you're on, you can be on a lot of, there's nothing really familiar, other than the fact you're in a wood. There's not one particular, you know, like they've been over this, I've been over this ground, I've been over this ground. There's nothing to, uh, yeah, to yeah. recognise. But yeah, they're going absolutely beautifully. Um, Martin is a very good driver, uh, no question of doubt about that. Um, and very, very, very good with his horses. Just a soft rubber. He has the, um, yeah, you have to say, he has the yeah. more for the look, yeah. the cheek pieces on, because as you can see, I think they're all smooth cheek. So, as far as I can see. Yep. Yep. So here we just Drop. take this opportunity, they've taken the grass off of here, or the hay off of here if you like, and just bringing the last a bit up as you can see on this tractor here. So yep. I'm taking this just to use this, and no one minds, this is a lovely thing. No one comes and says, no, you can't do that, or... Not yet. You know, <laughs> in, in a while they will say so, yeah? <laughs> but now it's okay to use this ground. And that's a lovely thing, no one minds. Yeah, if you come on up. here and just, you know, make this work and just try them out before we go. Nice turnings and tighter turns and coming back and fold backs and do whatever we want to do to make this. Uh, and nice to have the tractor in the field with us, a distraction. It's a good thing to do. So, lots of you that follow. Our YouTube channel. Um, we have, I come in, 36,000 subscribers, um, and just removing a horse fly at the moment <laughs> with the butt end of the whip. Yep, good job. So I say, those of you that follow us on YouTube, it's nice to come for a ride. In Holland, often people say they feel like they're sitting up by the side of me going for a ride. Well, I'm sitting up beside of Martin today and we're having a lovely ride through Holland and Belgium and Holland and Belgium and Belgium again then Holland. Yeah, we cross the border constantly in these woods and on the roads and everywhere we are. So constantly crossing from one country to the other, yeah. But absolutely lovely, I've really enjoyed this.